Hey guys, Silence Yao here. Welcome back to another Uta Macros Gacha video and update video because we have some missions to talk about. So yes, as you can tell from my voice, I am now fully recovered from COVID. So thank you guys so much for all the kind words and support during the past two to three weeks. It's been very, very harsh. <laughs> and finally, I'm back to my energetic self and let's get down to it because we don't have a lot of time. Um, basically, there are daily missions within the brand new um, the culture mixture missions uh, and there are two parts to it so if you guys started up the game this morning or when the server reset uh, you've probably seen this load screen and it gives us the dates of when each of the songs will appear initially I thought both songs will occur at the same time but apparently no they wanted to separate um, both songs and give them their own highlight spotlight time you know uh, so from today on the 9th of March to 2022 up to the 23rd of March um, we get to play Ikenai Borderline sung by Cheryl Nom and Ranka Lee so as you can tell they are in their Walkure costumes well Mostly Ranka, you can see that she's in her Ray Ray costume, <laughs> but Cheryl, not so much. It doesn't really seem like she's wearing the Mikumo costume, uh, but who knows? Anyways, it's just from the angle. And from 23rd of March to the, let's say, the start of um, April's events, yeah, we get to see Sayonara no Tsubasa sung by the Valkyrie ladies. So that will be the second half of all the missions and of course we'll go through all the missions again um, you know when that part comes around. <laughs> Alright so let's dive into the missions page first um, because this is more important. There are daily missions hopefully you guys who are watching this video are watching it on the 9th of March itself before the server resets. If you guys watch after this, then I'm, I'm, I apologize, I couldn't release this video earlier. I do have a full-time job to commit to. Uh, I wish I wish YouTubing was my full-time job. You guys can help make it happen, you know, subscribe <laughs> and all the YouTuber stuff. Yes, if you want uh, regular consistent videos, you know, it, it would be better if I can do this as a full-time thing. Anyway. Um, I've already cleared all the missions that I can currently see on hand so these are all the missions here and of course the missions do give us a, a 5 star episode plate with the uh, costume points for Cheryl's Mikumo costume so if you guys have not unlocked it yet this is probably a good chance to try and attain it um, so yeah now of course there's also this episode plate which also gives us uh, a bit more costume points Alright, so let's start off with the daily missions. Um, so we have two daily missions, so today and tomorrow it might be the same thing, but it might be for a different diva. So today's daily missions uh, feature Cheryl. So you have to have Cheryl as your center diva and of course play the brand new Ikenai Borderline song sung by Cheryl and Ranka. And that's about it. <laughs> then for the second one, basically you just have to play the Ikenai Borderline song sung by Cheryl and Ranka um, with the difficulty of normal or tougher and full combo the song. So basically just go for the normal difficulty and full combo you are technically done. But don't forget to have Cheryl as your center diva, you know, if you want to clear both dailies in one single play. Then following that, uh, basically let's move along with all the numbers. So the largest amount of numbers here um, basically just requires you to play Ikenai Borderline sung by Cheryl and Ranka. Yes, it's a lot of words to mouth out, but that's basically the title of the song. Um, 25 times! So play it 25 times, you can go ahead and use skip tickets to do it. This is very simple to clear. But however, the next few missions are a bit tricky because they actually require you to full combo the song. So you can't clear these two missions, which is basically, um, you know, playing the Ikenai Borderline song sung by Cheryl and Ranka with a difficulty of normal or tougher, you know, and full comboing this, full, co full comboing this song, you know, ten times. Um, this mission can only be cleared if you manually play the song. You cannot use skip tickets to clear this mission. 
So, yeah, that's the bummer of the whole thing. So, out of 25 clears, you only need to full combo them 10 times. So, you just have to play 10 times and that's it. Um, so just stick with the normal difficulty, you don't really have to go for anything harder, especially if you're trying to conserve energy um, to play with your current event as well. I actually cleared all these missions before the event actually started, so luckily enough, I didn't really have to waste too much of my um, energy ethers to restore my energy to play this, mi these missions and of course the current event itself. Now there is one thing you guys need to take note of if you guys have not done all the missions but uh, before I explain what it is, let us let me claim all these rewards here first just to make sure that there's no other stuff popping up <laughs> after it. Okay, so there we go, the two episode plates. So yeah, so that's basically all the missions, there aren't anything additional. So tomorrow, the daily missions probably might rotate Divas, maybe one day Cheryl, one day Ranka. Um, so just play around with the Divas and have them as your center position. You know, play the song and you should get your dailies cleared. Should be simple as that. So I don't really need to make a video, you know, following up on the following day unless something else special appears then. I might do a video for it but there shouldn't be a necessity for it. Alright so let me explain why it is kind of a bummer that this event is going on with the current event. As you can tell, Ikenai Borderline sung by Cheryl and Ranka is under the event uh, tab for the live section. However, if you are currently playing the event itself, normally in the second event of the month, um, there is a specialized series of songs that you can play to get the bonus percentage as you can tell here right, Today on the 9th of March the special bonus goes to the pink series songs Which is what Ikenai Borderline is you know the one sung by Cheryl and Ranka However, if you go to the song selection tab, you'll notice under the event tab here The event song for Ikenai Borderline sung by Cheryl and Ranka is not selectable so yes, you cannot kill two birds with one stone. You cannot have two events running together. So that's kind of a bummer. So you have to play this event on its own while Cheryl and Ranka's Ikenai Borderline missions on its own as well. If you're wondering why I'm switching left and right, it's because I don't want my video to be copyright strike because of the music. <laughs> okay, so with all of that said, I hope you guys understand the missions and what you need to do for um, the Deculture Mixture Missions Part 1. You know, uh, once Valkyrie's version of Sayonara no Tsubasa comes around, of course we'll talk about the missions again, but it's probably gonna be pretty much similar. Alright, so with all that said, let's dive into the main topic of today's video, which is the Gacha, a brand new Yami Kure uh, Frey Frey. So a lot of Freya fans have been waiting for this. In fact, I think a lot of uh, fans of Valkyrie who have already watched the movie in Japan have been waiting for this costume <laughs> we all know that she is the main girl for that movie but you know I, as an international fan I have not spoiled myself uh, trying not to but you know with all the um, info and fan info being released after the lifting of spoiler information it's pretty hard not to get spoiled um, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's take a look at Freya's brand new episode play and see how it fares. So, um, at the plus 25 luck value, this episode play comes in at 3,854 total score, um, which is not too bad for an episode play. So, if you're wondering what it comes at without this plus 25 luck value, it surprisingly comes in at 3,604. So if you recall, in the last video that I did, we we did talk about Makina's um, <coughs> excuse me, Valentine's Day episode play. Even though I did not pull the gacha, um, they, both episode plays actually came in at the same total score. So Freya doesn't actually succeed 
um, past Makina's last episode played. Um, but, you know, surprisingly enough, there is something special about this episode play of Freya's, which might not interest too many people, I guess. Um, but anyway, let's break down the episode play further. So, <clears throat> Charm takes the highest amount of points, followed by Soul, and of course, Voice gets the lowest uh, stats on the board. Alright, so aside from Freya, of course, you want to pay attention to Kaname fans, Elaine fans, and of course, Basara stands. Um, your husband, though, and your waifus can use this episode play, which is fantastic. And, you know, um, it's gonna be one of those new episode plays that has affection um, to do with high score, I assure you. <laughs> Anyways, center skill, charm up, units, charm is boosted by 90%, so that's fantastic stats, but, you know, as usual, if you have 7 star episode plays, why would you use a 6 star episode play as a center position skill unless you have got nothing better to use, you know. And of course, active skill, <clears throat> it has that modern day active skill for 5 seconds, your 70% boost in score, not fantastic. So main thing we want is the live skill, so as like I said, uh, I kind of expected this already. Uh, it's a short duration ability, so it does require your um, Diva's affection levels to be maxed out if you want to get that 120% boost in score. So yes, if you guys are waifus or Freya, Kaname, Milen, Basara, and you have their affection levels maxed out, this episode play is definitely a must get for you. However, <coughs> Yummy Freya's episode play is the first of its kind. Yes, I already saw the stats of this episode play. You know, so it has a special note attached to it. <laughs> so, yes, it's the first of its kind for these kind of series of episode plays. However, like I said, um, it may not interest a lot of people because the special note attached to it is a fold note. So, if you guys don't remember what the full note does, basically it just gives you, um, you know, a better chance of increasing your full gauge faster, um, which will in turn help you defeat the enemies during Valkyrie attack phase a lot easier. So yes, the current event is well known for having hard Valkyrie uh, hard bosses during the Valkyrie attack phase so technically this episode play is useful for this event and we don't really have a lot of episode plays with fold notes attached to them to be honest um, throughout five years of playing Utah Macross we've practically only seen like three episode plays with this special note so it's hard to come by and it does come with an episode play that has a pretty good life skill uh, of this generation and you know it is still as powerful as Makina's episode play um, that was recently released so with all of that said is this episode play worth your money uh, technically yes <laughs> <clears throat> if you don't have episode plays with life skill like this I highly recommend you to try and attain this one especially since it has a special note attached to it it's just a bonus um, it is not the most fantastic note to have attached to it, but at least it does something. Um, and, you know, it's not the most um, useless note out of the whole bunch, um, to be honest. Practically, the full note and the attack note are the most worthless, I would say. But both of them share the same value in usefulness when it comes to the need to use them. So... You know, bear in mind of that. So, aside aside from unlocking the costume of Freya's, which is locked behind this gacha wall, but at least we have, you know, event gacha tickets to give us an additional chance to attain uh, Yami Kurei, uh, or rather Yami Freya's costume. So, there's that. Anyways, enough babbling away. Let's dive in with all the pulling of the gachas. We've got quite a bit to pull. I've got expiring tickets here and there so let's do this with the free evening pool yep since it's after work so evening it is okay here we go 
Nope, no luck on the single pools. Okay, hopefully the template pools will have luck. Alright. Okay, let's skip this. Oh, wow. So that's a pretty decently rare common plane. <laughs> okay. So we didn't get lucky with Ray Ray 7 star episode plate. It would have been nice if I could get my waifu's plate, but I got my waifu's partner's plate, so. Okay. Um, Super Dimension tickets, I have quite a few expiring soon. Oh wow, there's one whole bunch expiring on the 15th. Okay, let's do a 10 plate pool from here. We will do a guaranteed 5 star plate pool as well, because I've got tickets expiring there. Two. Hmm, they're a bit of a low. Let's see, what can we get from this? Okay. Five Valkyries, alright. Oh, Rainbow Box on the first bling. Interesting. Alright, let's skip out the common stuff as usual. Seems like Min is getting a lot of love. Oh! I skipped the Rainbow Box animation! Oh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's not the... It is still within the series of episode plates for Valkyrie that are pretty good because I remember they all have special notes attached to them except for one diva. I can't remember who it was. Can't be Mikumo, right? Or was it Freya? Hmm. Oh well. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> let's take a look. Uh, let's see, is this the episode? Oh, Mikumo is the one without the special note. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. Oh. <laughs> oh well. And here I thought I got lucky. Uh, well, it is still technically a 5 star episode, please. So, nothing. You know, to be too de too demoralized about. Okay, so let's move on to the main feature gacha before we do the guaranteed five star. Um, let's do the single pool from this banner first. I'm just going to go ahead and try and unlock the costume because I I'm already missing two of the Yamukure costumes. Um, you know, because two of them are locked behind seven starters of plates, so that's kind of a bummer. Oh, costume points for Ray, uh, Ramka's Ray Ray costume. But that's not too bad, you know. Nice fitting in with the theme for this video. Okay, so let's do the 10 tickets from the event gacha tickets first. Oh, load bar. Somewhat of a decent slow speed. Hopefully that's some good news. Okay, three. Three Valkyries. Okay. Oh, no red boxes on the first bling. Mm, this doesn't look good. Oh, there we go. Costume points. That's all I need. More costume points. That's always welcome. Okay. It's a lot of min in this video. <laughs> okay, red box, here we go. And it's nothing new. Yeah, Freya is showing me the frustrated look as well. I mean, yeah, that's that's the main thing I want to see is that I can unlock the costume. Oh, Lady Evolve. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought she was doing like a rusting gun attack with the apple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so ten plate pool with the event tickets is done. Technically, I can stop here. I don't really want to spend my singing stones on uh, this banner, but you know her plate is technically kind of useful, so I probably want to go for the discounted ten plate pool. Why not? You know, give it another try. Oh, a quick load. Hmm. How's the luck for this one? Oh, still three Valkyries? Okay. Oh, Rainbow Box! Ah, Two Rainbow Boxes! Ooh. Here we go, the very first one. Oh! <laughs> I got my waifu's plate! I'm happy. I don't have this though. I think I don't. More costume points. That's fantastic. Okay. 
saving the best for last. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> I got it! Okay, so luckily, I mean, Freya likes Ranka, so double waifu, I go, I guess. Oh, I have it! Oh! Oh, that's nice! Oh, that's nice! So I did get the featured plate, plus I managed to evolve my waifu's episode plate as well. Let's see, I can't remember how useful this was. Oh, it's the fold uh, type scoring plate. Hmm, not that fantastic. Okay. But still, Freya's episode plate with the special note attached to it. Fantastic. So, it, it is technically good to end here, but I do have a guaranteed 5 star ticket that I need to use. So, bonus gacha pool, <laughs> I guess. There we go. So, let's see. How, when, are, when, are, when are these tickets expiring? So, there's one that's expiring on the 25th. So, I'll just do a single pool. I can leave the other one for the last video of the month. So, that's not too bad. Yeah, I'm gonna spread out some um, gacha love for you guys to watch. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wonder what we'll get. Hopefully it's something nice, useful at least. I mean, we all know it's gonna be a 5 star episode plate, but you know how useful it might be, that's another thing. Alright. Oh! Do I have this? I think I don't. Oh, I don't! Oh, I can unlock the costume as well. Wow. Okay. Talk about kind of good luck. I mean, I did pull out the featured Freya plate. Uh, I evolved my waifu's episode plate. I got a new episode plate for Cheryl. And it gave me a chance to unlock the costume. So, I'm good. Technically, this video is pretty awesome and on its own. Uh, on, on a mediocre level. You know, it's not 7-star episode plate godliness, but... It is a very huge step forward in terms of progress of the episode play collection and costume collecting. So yeah guys, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys have watched this video on the day itself so that you guys can update yourself on all the missions that you need to do. Especially for the, the culture mixture stuff. Um, and you know, what do you guys think of all the episode plays so far that have been appearing You know, for... Um, Makina, Reina, Freya now and are you still looking forward to the upcoming 3 other costumes that's coming out this month? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and as always guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you leave a like, share, subscribe, you know, do all the wonderful stuff. If you guys want me to be a full-time YouTuber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Until then, bye!